Mr Slater's letter of authority seems to be in order. Right, so we're definitely clear then, yeah? Once and for all. Once the money's handed over, my client will not be pursuing his claim for damages. You don't know the meaning of the word damaged. Right. Not fools, I hope. Only I'm planning a couple of weeks in Florida. You've been to the States. Love Florida. America don't really interest me. Nah, it's not to everyone's taste, of course. And it ain't cheap. Not if you want to do it properly. Do we get a receipt for that? You know, I feel sorry for you. Doing what you did to another human being. You're not a man. So where do you get off? Mr Foster, please, if you could just count the no, money. No, 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 I want to have my say here. I'm the injured party. Oh. These people have made my life hell. Making accusations, assaulting me. Her idiot father put me in hospital. Oh, leave it, you got what you wanted. All I wanted was a nice quiet drink every now and again. Next thing I know, some slappers oh. trying to get me trousers and all hell breaks loose. <sighs> you want to keep your eye on this one? Maybe it runs in the family. No, Alfie, What did you say, Mr it. Moon? They say you always marry someone who reminds you of your father. Looks like it's true. Shall I call the police? No! no, no, no Alfie, no, no, just no. sit down. There's no need for that. There's no talking to people like this. Are we done here? That's it. It's been a pleasure. I'll think of you when I'm on the beach. Yeah? Well, I won't go buying your traveller's checks just yet. Not unless you're planning on jumping bail. Sorry? They're not going to let you out the country when you're awaiting trial. In fact, if I were you, I wouldn't spend a penny on that. Because you're going to need it when you're banged up. Mrs Moon. I'm not threatening him. I'm just telling him what he's got coming to him. You know what they do to blokes like you inside? You're going to have to buy yourself a lot of protection. Say 500 quid a week. And how long do you think that's going to last you? Not even six months. And are you sure that's all you're going to get? I reckon it'll be more like six years. Do you think you can handle that? If you're lucky, it'd just be spitting your food, boiling water on your hands, a good kick in every couple of days. That is if you're lucky. And if you're not so lucky, you'll know what you put my sister through, won't you? Over and over. So don't go spending that in one shot, will you? Come on, Alfie. There's a nasty smell in here. I'll see you in court. Cheers. OK, you all right? Yeah, I think so. Listen, Alfie, I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. I don't just mean the money, I mean everything. Oh, well, I like to say. I'm part of the family now, anyway. <laughs> That's right. Marry a Slater, inherit a world of worry. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'll get through it, darling. We'll always do. Are you sure about that? I'm not sure. I'm positive. It's teamwork, all right? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Oi, you two. Get a room. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Andy, the usual. Yeah, she seems a bit more cheerful. Hey, you must be doing something, right? Well, I'm still <laughs> trying to do my best, you know. Listen, can I have a quick word of you while she's busy? Yeah, sure. So I just want to thank you for helping us out with the money, cos everything's sorted now. No worries, no worries. I'm just glad I could be of help, you know? Right. And, you know, I promise, hand of my heart, that I'll make sure you get every payment, every single payment I'll spend. Don't worry, mate. Right. I know you'll pay. 